What's up guys? Welcome back to the Shelby Lifestyle. Today I'll be showcasing the exact horsepower output for the GT500 Super Snake. I know a lot of you have been asking this for quite a while now. I have yet to actually show it to all of you. I'm not too sure why. I think I've been waiting for the perfect moment to do so. That's gonna be today. If you guys don't know this, when you buy a GT500 Super Snake, you can ask for a custom dyno tune. That's what this car actually has a custom dyno tune because it's got the whole shot package, which gives you the uh, camshaft. So you hear a lot with the popping sounds whenever I let off the throttle. That sounds unique. Uh, I've yet to hear a Super Snake that makes the same exact sound. But, anyways, uh, what's cool though is with that dyno sheet, you get a custom Shelby American layout. And uh, here it is right here. That was definitely uh, pretty weird. I, I don't usually see Audi R8 driving around this uh, neck of the woods, but sometimes it gets pretty hard to talk in this parking garage. There's a lot of people that come in here try to riff up their motors. You can't blame them. Now, like I was saying, when you get this car, you can ask for a custom dyno, and this is what they give you right here. So as you can see, max horsepower output is 860 to the wheel uh, torque is uh, 671 to the wheel and that is on 14.7 boost this is all off pump octane so to give you perspective i'm down here in southern california the, the best gas we have is 91 octane so this entire car uh, running on 14.7 boost gives 860 wheel horsepower now this car new if you got the normal super snake package they make about 850 horsepower to the crank as you can see here the max horsepower it makes to the wheel is 860 that is because this is not a normal super snake this is not the typical package that you see most people uh, ordering it's because this package is a super snake package plus the whole shot package the whole shot package gives you a few other performance enhancements such as the uh, the camshaft a full-on competition set of camshafts it makes this car sound very unique i'd say and you definitely do see a difference on the dyno sheet now i had this car when it had the normal 850 horsepower it was great it was very easy to drive i think for that much horsepower but uh deciding to make it faster does change the entire driving experience is not the same as a normal 850 horsepower super snake this one is much more uh it feels like a race car every time i get inside of it it's shaking it makes a sound like i've never heard before but i couldn't imagine what this car could make with 93 octane nonetheless and also with racing fuel i can easily crank up the boost uh, put 110 octane racing fuel like some other cars have the funny thing is i actually got a bunch of people that uh, didn't believe me that this car had a thousand horsepower now this it doesn't make a thousand horsepower to the wheel obviously but to the crank it makes yeah But um, I've had this the entire time. I know I had a lot of Super Snake owners that wanted to know how much the whole shot makes to the wheel. Shelby American advertises the whole shot package as a 900 horsepower package. But if you actually calculate for drivetrain loss, it makes a little over a thousand horsepower to the crank. It, it is a lot. This does not feel like the 850 horsepower variant and it feels light years away from the 662 horsepower that you get out of a stock 2013-2014 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. I'll be quite frank, um, what I don't like about the Super Snakes in general is that when you buy them, they come standard with 295 Michelin Pilot Super Sports. These 295 tires have little to no sidewall on them. They are track focused tires. Like I was saying, the car comes with 295 rear tires. That does not work for 850 horsepower. So the thing about the Super Snake is that you really have to take it into your own hands to get the right set of tires. What I did is that I kept the 20 inch wheels that the car comes with and I put a pair of ET Street SS uh, Mickey Thompson drag radials. They are great. They actually did a lot of, they worked well on this car for having 860 wheel horsepower. 
Now I'm going to state the obvious. With these 315, 50, 17 inch Mickey Thompson ET Street R's, the car hooks. It does not spin at all. I can do a first gear pull, a second gear pull. It is very confident, inspiring. There are drawbacks though. This car, I can't turn at all now. It's um, the outside, the sidewall, it has no problem clearing everything just fine, but the inside, the way this tire bows out, it begins to rub on the inside of the, the car. What, what I'm trying to say is that the inside part of the rubber on the tire begins to rub the car. That is because the PSI, I'm running about like 18 PSI on the street with these tires. You're not supposed to, I know that. But you really, you need to because you have so much horsepower. It kind of keeps it more safe than anything. The thing about that though is that I, I cannot turn. I got to go uh, 10, 15 miles an hour to take a turn. So uh, what I'm deciding to do now is I'm going to take these off, put on the original Super Snake uh, Venice wheels that came with the signature edition package. I'll just run that on the street. If I want to do racing, I'll just uh, put on these pretty dang slick drag racing wheels with the, uh, the massive drag racing tire and I should be uh, all good to go. Guys, if you own a GT500 Super Snake or if you want to buy a GT500 Super Snake, the first thing you should do, in my opinion, get rid of those Michelin Pilot Super Sports, those 295 wide tires. It will not work for you. Get a good pair of Mickey T's, Hoosiers, whatever you can find. Just, um, I'd stay away from the track setup because this thing, this is a drag car. To show you guys how much this car is like a race car, I'm going to show you how this car functions when you begin to take off. So put again in the first gear, you get a big thump when you put it in first, I like that a lot. But uh, no gas at all, I'm just going to roll off the clutch and it's just going to go on its own. It'll just keep on going and go faster and faster and faster just like that. So this car is very different than the stock form I believe. I'm reversing up a hill with no throttle at all. No gas whatsoever, back into a spot, uphill. I'm just trying to show you guys how different this car is with the Super Twin Clutch. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful day. This has been a question I've been asked quite a lot i'm pretty happy to share it with all of you now anyways what do you think did you expect this car to make 860 wheel horsepower did you expect more or less let me know also stay tuned for much more gt500 super snake content if we do decide to go back and mod it again i think the car can gain a lot more power thanks for watching this video if you liked it make sure to give me a thumbs up also comment down below what you think and subscribe for much more of the Shelby lifestyle and while you're at that hit that notification bell and I'll see each and every one of you in the next video.